The other day we were watching a dump, uh, not a dump truck, but a cement mixer go by. And for some reason the company who, you know, put together their logo and everything like that, they really painted the cement mixer in great colors with a great pattern on it. Nothing escapes my eye, like that's my curse as well. Oh, I can't look at anything without, I want to say judging it, but you know. Well, talk, talking about the curse, I mean, it's the curse of, of people who live with you and have to go around with you because you are, you're looking at everything all the time and you're commenting on the most random stuff. They're like, wait a minute, you know, the main event is over here. What are you looking at the ceiling or the, the wall for? I mean, the interior design show is, I think, uh, one of the best places for people to come to be inspired themselves. So if we're doing something which is meant to be conceptual, then we really have to push it. We have to make something that's going to surprise, um, hopefully delight. We want, we want people to walk in and, say, and go, Quadrangle Architects, you know. Uh, we want to stand people on their ear a little bit, like we did at Chorus Entertainment. Uh, you know, we, we want to do something that we're not necessarily known for. I, one of the prime directives was the client asked that when people walk in, it's like they're stepping into a jar of jelly beans. And I think we kind of achieved that. Um, the funness, the color, the excitement, whatever. And the variety. And the variety. We do lots of work that is a rather aha moment, you yeah. know, and that's what we want to echo in our space at the interior design show.